What I'm about to say to you is completely fictional. Okay, just consider it a movie idea that I have for a geopolitical thriller. Remember, this is completely fictional and for entertainment purposes only. Any likenesses to people, ideas, nations are completely coincidental. All right, so the premise of the movie is all the nations around the world have decided to work together for a common cause to control the human population. And the doctrine that they've decided to use to do that is control through fear, order out of chaos. These nations use various archetypal invisible enemies to scare the crap out of the human population so we all give up our rights and resources. They disseminate everything through propaganda, and most of it, even though we're seeing it on screens because the CG has gotten so good, it's not even real. So the timeline of the movie is they've already used various invisible enemies throughout the decades, starting at about hmm, 1950. So they've gone through a couple of these, and right now they're using terrorism and lining up meteors and alien invasions for the future. So what they do with the terrorism is they create a fake terrorist organization. In the movie, they're called OSIRIS. So what happens is, in the movie, they invade Iraq, and they take all the Republican Guard and put them in a prison. Okay, so it's an American-controlled area of Iraq. And then someone lets all those Republican Guards out of the prison. But they're CIA agents, and they tell the Republican Guard, okay, what you're going to do is you're going to create a fake terrorist organization for us, say how you hate America, but then you're only going to attack our enemies. So they do this for a while, continuing this Islamophobic kind of spirit in the world and scaring people away from Muslims and Arabs. But then they start kicking it up a notch because there's this other country that needs to build a very specific kind of church in a very specific area where there's already a church, an Islamic Muslim church. So they start using Osiris to fake attack these allied nations. And not just allied nations, they start attacking Russia too. Now at this point, they're pretending like a World War III is going to happen. And so it seems like Russia's versus America, et cetera, et cetera. And that feels really real. But while all this is going on, this sort of Cold War between Russia and America, that other country that needs to build the church, they're committing a genocide on television. And like all the countries... Like, all the countries that oppose it, and then all the countries that are the allies, they all start kind of picking up the rhetoric of, oh, this is really bad, you shouldn't be doing that. But, like, months and months and months go by, and everyone's like, this is the, the final line, you better not cross that one. And then they do, and no one does anything. So a few people start getting the sinking suspicion that every single nation is working together behind the scenes, and the entire Cold War thing... Uh, all of the tensions between nations are all scripted. None of it's real. Okay, so next. So Osiris is doing these terrorist attacks in all these different countries, but they're not even real. Half of them are just CG propaganda. The other half, they're actually taking vulnerable people and sort of doing like MK Ultra stuff on them and turning them into terrorists just so they can create the plot. And then they arrest that person and put them in prison for their entire life which is called entrapment, and it's extremely illegal and inhumane. So then there's these couple of people in this movie that start investigating it, and they realize like there's so much history of these people who allegedly assassinated someone or, or committed a terrorist attack, and every single one of them were under the influence of drugs or some sort of uh, propaganda mind control program. Yeah, so back to the present time in the movie. So they start doing these Osiris terrorist attacks, one happens in Russia, and then uh, in America, right before a solar eclipse, they say, you know, uh, what's probably going to happen on April 8th is there's going to be a terrorist attack by Osiris. It's like a week before, and then the terrorist attack attempt happens, and it's just so coincidental. And so, like I said, a few of these people start picking up on this, and they're like, wait a second. ISIS, whoops, Osiris attacked Russia, and Russia claimed it, and Russia knows that Osiris is a CIA operation. And then Osiris attacks, attacks America a week after they predicted the exact day that it would happen. Oh crap, America and Russia are working together with this other country that wants to build the church. Because they're all in on it. And those people try to make videos, but it always gets taken down. Because uh, the entire internet is basically the opposite of truth. It's all censorship. Everyone had hopes that the internet would liberate us to be able to tell truth. But they have all these algorithms and all these people working to shut everyone up. And so what they do 
is they like make videos, but then pretend that they're pitching movie scripts. <laughs>